Here are the magazine holders I designed. Both of them are mounted on a closet rod with a mount system I also designed. Uh, this one holds six AR-15 magazines or 12 double stack 9mm pistol magazines or some combination of the two. The magazines need a base plate on them so unfortunately the metal Stenag mags will not work because they have no base plate. Uh, so for ex example we have a PMAG mag pole, we have a Lancer mag, this is a Staccato 2011 mag, behind that is a Sig P320, this is a Springfield Hellcat mag, behind that is a Glock 17 mag, this is a Beretta 92 slash M9 mag, behind that is CZ75, this is a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0, and behind that is an HK P30. This one holds five AR-10 magazines. It also holds two Scorpion magazines per slot. It holds AKP mags and regular stamp steel AK mags. Here we can see a Lancer SR-25 mag. This is a Magpul AR-10 P mag. Here we have one, two uh, Scorpion P mags and then two AKP mags right there. Um, unfortunately, the factory Scorpion mags will not work as their base plate uh, barely sticks out proud of the magazine body. Uh, so as you saw, the magazines just slide in and out the front and they stay in place due to a slight upward angle of the forks of the holder. So here are some features that are common to both designs. They are 3D printed out of PLA or PETG. I have put six fully loaded uh, mags, that is 180 rounds of 223 or 5.56 on this AR-15 version with the closet mount and left it hanging for months and it held up just fine. Uh, this one is printed out of PLA too, which is significantly less tough than PETG. I print all my newer ones out of PETG. They are lightweight and strong. Uh, I only print them with 10 to 15% infill. When oriented correctly on the print bed, uh, like this, they uh, print without any support structure. And you'll see the gentle curve on the underside of these legs right here. And if you're familiar with statics and beam bending, you'll know that this is a very strong shape for cantilever beams. Um, all of these mounting holes are on one inch spacing so they can be used with pegboard, you know, like the, uh, the stuff with the grid of holes that tools hang from behind a workbench. They can also, of course, be used with any drywall screws, mollies, or regular wood screws to be mounted a variety of places. Um, the dimensions of each of these slots were optimized to fit most magazine styles, uh, but of course between my buddies and me we don't have all the guns out there so I could not get dimensions for every magazine I wanted to, but they hold a lot, um, especially the really common ones like I showed at the beginning of this video. Uh, this total width and therefore the number of the slots, six for the AR-15 version and five slots for the AR-10 version, um, was limited by the size of the print bed on my 3D printer. This is the closet mount system I came up with. Every uh, magazine holder needs two of these to be attached to a closet rod. Uh, they mount to one and five sixteenths closet rods, which are the most common here in the U.S. As far as I know, uh, they have heat set um, threaded inserts on them to attach to the magazine holders through those holes. Um, these pieces are both 3D printed as is with no support material and the threads uh, turn out and work just fine. So these have a coarse threaded 3 quarter 10 rod right here that can be used to level the holder and also adjust the angle of it. Uh, this adjustment also accounts for variation between the top of the rod and the bottom of the shelf depending on what kind of brackets you have holding uh, your shelf and your rod up. Uh, these threaded rods are set back from the center line of the closet rod here by a couple of inches, uh, and that should account for most of the variation in um, distance from the front of the shelf to this rod, again, based on this bracket. Anyways, that's all I got. I use these, and uh, some of my buddies do too. Uh, they've been working and holding up well. Uh, of course, magazines loaded with live ammunition should not be stored unsecured, but, you know, 